my name is Stephanie and I will be showing you how to make a fabric farmhouse snowman. So if you're new to my channel and love creative DIYs, please hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the bell, that way you get a notification every single time that I upload. Now if you like the video, please share it with your friends and family and also comment down below and give me any ideas or just share your photos on my Instagram, Facebook, or Pinterest. So what you'll need is some fabric, of course. I'm going to be using two different types of fabric. One's going to be a plain white and the other is going to be a lace. Now, um, there's two ways you can do it. You could either go to Walmart and buy the quarter rounds, which is perfectly rounded off, or like I did, I found a white sheet that I no longer use. Also, I have a bunch of lace curtains that I also don't use, so I'm going to repurpose. Um, but I did cut them 25 long and 18 wide. Um, also, what you'll need is three of these pumpkins. Um, they had them during the harvest time at the Dollar Tree. Now, I bought a bunch of these because I use them for different crafts for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. But if um, I actually just went to the Dollar Tree and they still have some, so you can still find them. So you'll need three of those. You'll need some nautical rope that's also down in the crafting section. You'll need a hat, and this is down in the Christmas section with all the other ornaments. You'll need some pipe cleaners, just about four of them because this is going to be his hands. You'll also need some buttons. Now they do sell buttons at the Dollar Tree. They usually come in like a little jar, um, but you'll need about five of these buttons. You'll also need some of these. They are these little gems and they're down in the Christmas section. Um, but they come in a bag and there's a lot of them in there. And they also have, and I might use these and I might not, but they have them, they have them in a bag and they also have them on flat sheet with the sticky thing in the back. Um, they're kind of like some little gems as well. They're just clear. You'll need one of these. This is down in the Christmas section. They're like little pins. They have the little clip back there. Um, also, some chevron ribbon, some burlap ribbon. I'll also have some of the lace ribbon. And then this is that black sequence ribbon. Some of the Dollar Tree still have them and some do not. And of course you'll need your hot glue gun and your hot glue and then what where we're going to get started at is your pumpkin of course you're going to have to take the top of it off make sure to paint it white because even though this is two layered like that you can still see the orange through the fabric so make sure that you paint this white it doesn't have to be with the wave release paint you can paint it with the apple barrel white it's just so it doesn't bleed through the fabric so give me just a moment while I go ahead and paint my pumpkins and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. Here's the pumpkin. And of course I didn't really bother with the bottom that much. It's mostly the top and the sides. You don't really want it to bleed through. And of course the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole in the middle of it. And these are hollow. They're actually really good for crafting because they carve really easily. Um, So you're just going to make a hole, not a very big one, it's just enough to shove the fabric through. And what I do is I just poke it in and just make the hole and just let, the, let it just go back in there instead of having that everywhere. Um, so what we're going to do, and I go ahead and shove both layers of fabric in there. So just kind of try to line it up in the middle. And you're going to take your fabric and you're just going to hook it in there and usually I like to use one of these thin dowels and you could find this at the Dollar Tree as well just to poke it in there and you kind of want to make sure that it's laying real nice too that it's not really too bubbly or too like short on one end and just shove it in there like that Here. 
Now a lot of y'all remember these from the fall. Of course they were um, stuffing these pumpkins with fabric and putting cinnamon sticks on the top of them. There's a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to do it. It's not very complicated. It's just you really want to make sure that the fabric lays in there properly. Um, just because we are making this into a snowman. And if you do have any short pieces like right here, you kind of want to fold that underneath it and then kind of make a longer piece out of it. That way it lays a little flatter going in. And of course, I don't really like to make these too perfect just because I kind of like my stuff to look homemade. I like the whole vintage look of it all. And sometimes if you got too much fabric in there, it won't go in the hole. <laughs> so, let's see here. But don't make your hole too big because if you do, then it won't hold the fabric in there. And then you have to find some kind of glue or some other way to get the fabric to stay in there like it needs to. As y'all can see, it's just a fabric covered pumpkin. And of course, I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just trying to cover it with a fabric. Now, this right here, I can redo. And all you have to do, if you don't like how it looks, because I don't really like how that looks, just pull it back out. When I did these in the fall, I used the quarter rounds from Walmart and they weren't perfect. Um, but because I had all this extra curtains and sheets that I'm not using, I figured, why not repurpose it? So, there we go, that looks better. Yeah, looks a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other um, two pumpkins and then we'll move on from there. to go ahead and work on and um, make it make the face on it so I'm gonna go ahead and get the buttons so I picked this one 
And what we're going to do, we're going to get the buttons and we're just going to glue the back of them. Just a dab of hot glue. And go like that. So I kind of just like to work on the face. Alright guys, so just put a dab of glue right there in the middle. Not a very big dab of glue, but you get your little rhinestone and just place it right there. And I think for his nose, I'm just going to use another button. For his mouth, I'm going to use the sequence black ribbon that they have at the Dollar Tree. And let's see how wide I want to make it. Sorry, I had to get a pair of scissors. So. What we're going to do is just kind of make his little happy face with the hot glue. Just kind of run it along. Don't try to put it on there too thick just because you don't want it to go through the sequence. And just kind of line it up. And then whatever's left over, just cut it off. I can cut it off. There we go. There we go. See his face? Thank you. There we go. So, let me go ahead and deal with the hat. So, I'm not very fond of the hat. Well, I like the form of the hat. I'm just not very form, form, like, fond of the decorations here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull all this stuff off. Just because I don't like it, um, it doesn't really match any of my decor at all. And we're about to find out how difficult it is to take it off. Let's see here. There we go. Pull that right off there. And then, so the ribbon is attached to the little thing there. But don't worry about it because we're going to cover it up. Just cut the ribbon off. There we go. Take that off. And then we're going to take this little ornament hanger off too. We don't need that. And where is my ribbon? Sorry guys, I had to find my ribbon. It rolled off somewhere off the table. <laughs> Alright, so... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run some hot glue on the bottom of this, like that. Then I'm going to take this and just kind of press it all the way down to the bottom where you don't see the red. There we go. And just try to make sure it's all the way to the bottom where they don't see the old red lace. Now, I'm not going to tear the red lace off, and the reason being is that it's probably going to take all this black felt with it. It's probably going to really mess up the form. So, I'm not going to take it off like that. But what I am going to do is cut it off like that. And then we're going to run some glue this 
way. And then I'm gonna run another layer this way. So, and I am gonna line up the seams just because I'll put my hat decorations right there where the seam's at. All right. So, just hold that down and just run your glue this way or whatever way is convenient for you. Um, and then, run it that way. And you kind of want to make sure that it's pushed up to the rim of the hat. you're gonna have all the hot glue strings right there but it'll look something like that and then we're gonna add our own little decor to it just because I have more silver than I do woodsy stuff so And this is kind of like your preference, how you prefer it to look like. But don't be scared to repurpose these hats and make them look cuter than what they are. Or make them look more like what's in your home. So I'm gonna put a dab of hot glue here like that. And I'm going to place this right over that and then these I'm going to snip apart and the reason being is that I'm probably going to lay some down and then some up and then that gives you like three little twigs right there that way you don't have to buy a whole thing from the Dollar Tree just to make a little hat then snip that off. Now the little pine cones, you can repurpose those. Because this pine cone, as you can tell, is kind of huge for the hat. So we're not going to use that one per se. But down that like that. And then you could put that right there in the middle. It's actually super cute. As far as the pine cones, you could use them if you want to. They literally put so much glue right there. You're probably gonna have to cut them apart with a pair of scissors or something. But if not, just toss it off to the side. So, this is how the hat looks like. Now, the top of it does have a hole on it, so what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put one of these gems on the very top of it, just to make it look a little blingy. Um, I think these are super cute. I might actually put one on the front, too. So, just put this 
some hot glue on there. I'm going to put one in the front right here. Like that. And then on the top, I really want to cover that hole because it's kind of getting on my nerves. I might just put that little jewel on there. So just throw that one on top of there. Of course, you're going to have to pull all these little strings off. These hot glue strings. So the next thing you're going to do is glue it to his head. So we're going to get him and try to brush all that trash off of there because Felk likes to pick up every single little thing. And you're going to glue mostly around the rim and not the middle. And the reason being is that the middle kind of sinks in a little bit. And then just press it down. That's it. Isn't it cute? I love it. Of course, get all the glue strings off of it. Alright, so just set him off to the side. And then we're going to do the body. So, you'll need your little buttons. We're going to probably put two on this one and one on the bottom and and what you want to do if your fabric kind of bulks up like this on the side you want to use that as the back and use more of the flat area as the front so just put a dab of hot glue right there and you get your button so like that set that off to the side and let it dry and then we'll get this one and find the best flat area and then we'll just put one right here now you can add two buttons to this one if you want to but I'm just going to do it as a three button and the other thing you'll want to do while that's drying is go ahead and make his arms now that's what the pipe cleaners are for so I usually like to make them kind of thick that way if you wanted to put something in his hand you could so I just kind of like twist them together like this to make his hands and then that way you can make that little forky thing at the end like he has just go like that and then just make sure to twist it real good that way they stay entwined with each other I'm just gonna wrap it here sorry y'all but now it's out of focus there so work until you get closer to the end there twist it around there you go his little hands so what I normally do is just shove it in the hole. That's it. Just lay it down. And you kind of want to, you know how the pumpkin has that little crease? You kind of want to find that to make your hands go along. That way, maybe even try to pinch it. And that's all I do for his hands. Just, they look a little crazy now, but when I put his head on there, it'll be better. So, see, just like that, crazy little hands. So, as far as his head or pinning his head down, we're going to hot glue it down. So, the flat area of the pumpkin is where you want to put the glue or the most glue, not so much in the center. And you do want to put a nice amount of glue to glue his head down. So just take it and line it up. You see? Mr. Pumpkin. I call him Mr. Pumpkin. Mr. Snowman's coming alive. So. Just 
And of course, I mean, you can make these for gifts or you can make them for decoration in your house. Um, I really wouldn't suggest them go outside just because they are made out of fabric. So let's go ahead and grab the bottom body. Show you how that looks like. So, next thing we're going to do, I was debating whether to use the rope or maybe I need something for his scarf. So, let's take a look here. and see how it looks. How about we just leave him like that and I'll just turn him this way and y'all can see what I'm doing. So up here on the very rim, it didn't really cover a lot with the, it's like the um, ribbon can't get all the way to the top. So I think what I'm going to do is add a little rope here and I'm going to untwine it just a little bit. You just need a dab. You don't need a whole bunch of glue and gluing the rope around the rim of the hat. I don't a whole lot of care. And you probably want to do this when you already have the hat off. I didn't think about it until I saw it. And I was like, ooh, let me put rope up here. I kind of usually just craft on the whim here. So, let's look and see. This will be cute or not. Hmm. Let's do this. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. As you can tell, it holds pretty well. It glues really good. Just make sure you put a, a nice amount of glue on there. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna outline it with the rope and then that idea so when it comes to the rope you usually want to glue the rope before sticking it into the crack and the seam you want facing towards the back that way you know it doesn't look that good 
And remember, glue the rope. It's just a whole lot easier than trying to glue inside of fabric. So, stuff that in there and then put that one in there. I actually like that a lot. I really want a scarf. Alright, so we're going to cut this rope up here. And this is pretty thick. So, I'm going to go ahead and place this down here. Guys, and you'll have hot glue string everywhere, so don't get discouraged. And we're going to go ahead and place this string in there. And just lower his arms down. And it'll help keep the arms down, which is a good thing. Now, when it comes to his tie, I guess I need to go ahead and put that in there, don't I? Mm -hmm. I could put it off to the side here. Let's see what we're going to do. I actually really like that a lot. I think I need to cut it a little shorter than that. Hmm. So y'all see me messing around with the ribbon because I kind of want it smaller than what it is and I don't want that seam on there either which make it kind of sort of look like a tie. Oh that's cute. So just play around with it and try to get your tie. To look like it's supposed to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go back and add more glue to the rope. And then we're gonna turn around and add the tie in the middle. So don't worry about how the tie looks right now. Let's flop him over. this goes cut off the excess of it there we go there we go as far as the tie goes just kind of go like this
so guys, if y'all want to put something in his hands, like a pine cone, you can, candy cane, um, see, and his hands will hold it, like especially a pine cone, that actually looks kind of cute. So, if y'all want to add any more rhinestones or extra buttons, I mean, completely make it your own. I just thought it would be a cool idea to make these um, out of fabric, just like they did the pumpkins for the fall. I thought it was really cute. So if y'all like this DIY, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Remember, share it, like it, comment on it. Um, if y'all want to make one or y'all have made one, please don't hesitate to share it on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. Also, you can check out my Easty shop. Um, so yeah, thank y'all and thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good day.